नमस्ते वेलकम टू योगा एंड यू आई एम रासिका संपर इन टूडेज प्रैक्टिस वी गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग एट अ सीक्वेंस टू टारगेट इन सोमिया और स्लीपलेसनेस नाउ इट इज रिसर्च इज एक्चुअली सेट दैट अबाउट वन थर्ड ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन suffers or suffered from insomnia at some point in their life so if you are facing this issue know that you are not alone uh, so insomnia is basically when you find it difficult to fall asleep or to sustain the sleep state for a long time and this happens continuously uh, we say it's insomnia this can be from mild to a chronic level if you are facing this in a chronic level definitely take the advice of a medical practitioner now yoga as such uh, really helps to improve the sleep quality okay so uh, it does this in many many different ways uh, so one is the practice of mindfulness which is very very interconnected with yoga practice so mindfulness uh, helps secrete this melatonin which is the sleep hormone your breath awareness really helps to reduce stress levels in your body and stress being one of the major major causes of sleeplessness and insomnia uh, so this again induces sleep uh, weight loss which is obviously not the main goal of yoga but it could be a by product of your practice really helps with people who suffer from sleep apnea so your breath quality really uh, your sleep quality really improves if you lose weight uh, and you know in so many ways so it helps you move into the parasympathetic nervous system which you know it lulls you into a good sleep with practice so uh, today's practice will be focusing on a very very relaxing sequence which will help you again shift into the parasympathetic mode and hopefully give you a good night's sleep please practice this regularly and practice yoga all forms of yoga regularly and you'll definitely see uh, some benefits in your sleep quality so uh, i would advise you to practice this sequence somewhere closer to your bedtime so somewhere in the evening or night time will be great so let's get started we'll start in child's pose one of my favorite ways to start any practice so sit in vajrasana extend your hands forward and allow the forehead to come down all the way to the mat pressing the skin on your forehead towards your nose that pressure point helping you relax all the muscles around your face and your jaw we tend to hold a lot of tension in our facial muscles step 1 towards any change any sort of change is to acknowledge and accept observe first and then acknowledge so what we are doing right here is observing where the body holds its tension so that we can spend the rest of our practice trying to release it focus on longer exhales wherever you sense that tension in your body as you inhale visualize that you're breathing space into that tension as you exhale feel like you're allowing that tension to release from your body surrender a little bit more and we'll take one more breath like that you can even open your mouth and sigh it out <sighs> wonderful now come up and sit in vajrasana we'll take a few neck stretches i'll turn to face you we'll take a few neck stretches to just ease out any tension that we have stored over there okay so you can take your right hand to your left ear take your left hand by your side and draw the right ear to the right shoulder breathe into the left side of the neck for 3 2 1 release your right hand switch sides left ear to left shoulder and stay for 3 2 1 release take your hands behind your head interlock your fingers inhale to puff up the chest and as you exhale keep the chest lifted but draw the chin to your chest releasing the back of your neck 
bring the elbows towards each other sliding the shoulder blades down your back stay for three two and one slowly release your hands and let's come into a little twist now okay so inhale and take your arms up and as you exhale bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee your left hand goes behind you and you're going to twist and look over your left shoulder don't sink the weight onto your left hand your left hand is just there for support twists are a great way to detoxify the body and every time we detoxify the body it has the same effect on our mind as well inhale lift your hands up and exhale twist to the other side over your right shoulder stay for five four three two and one inhale come back lift your hands up exhale bring your hands down and come into a tabletop position cat and cow another of my favorite stretches inhale arch the back look up exhale round the spine inhale arch the back this really helps relieve any tension that you've stored in your lower back exhale last one inhale exhale inhale to neutral back exhale tuck your toes into downward facing dog you can take it slow here you can bend your knees and keep pushing the chest back towards your thighs you can even pedal the legs out here bend one knee bend the other whatever helps you find a little release in the backs of your legs stay for a big breath in big breath out good now look forward and begin to step the legs to the front of your mat and exhale fold forward grab opposite elbows hold on to opposite elbows you can even take the feet apart slightly maybe hips width apart and just allow the head to hang down you could put a micro bend in your knees to feel a little more comfortable and allow the body to just hang down feeling like your body is a waterfall your legs being the rocks from which this cascade of water which is your upper body flowing downwards towards the earth so really feel for reaching the ground reaching the earth as you hang here and sway like a pendulum with every inhale feel for stretching and extending the right uh, the back of your body creating space and with every exhale feel for letting go of everything that does not serve you let's take one more breath here and exhale to release focus on longer exhalations bend your knees and roll your spine up one water breath at a time loose and limp on the upper body firm and stable in the lower body as you come up head comes up last roll the shoulders back and down and now we'll move to the wall so now we'll take the mat against the wall and the rest of the class is going to be against the wall so you're going to sit with your face facing the wall scooch your hips as close to the wall as you can now for this practice it's great for you to have a blanket uh which you can fold up and use as a cushion uh under your shoulders okay so we can use it in many different ways which we'll come at but for now fold it up and use it such that when you lie down this will be under your shoulders so scooch your hips up as close to the wall as possible lie down and bring your feet up onto the wall okay now we're going to come into a supported shoulder stand so you're going to press into the wall and lift the hips up 
Shoulder stand is a great way to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Really helps in inducing sleep. And since we're not doing the full pose, this is a nice supported way to get into a shoulder stand and still reap the benefits. So we'll stay here and you can breathe for another four, three, two, and one. Now you can try to lift the right leg up and cross the left ankle with the right, uh, sorry, the right ankle with the left knee. Now slowly drop the spine down, upper back to lower back. So you're in a figure of four position over here. Keep pushing the right knee away from you. You can even use your right hand to gently press the knee away from you. This opens up the hips, which in turn, you know, increases the blood flow around these areas and helps you sleep better. We'll stay here. It's also a really great practice if you know, you're suffering from jet lag and you're unable to sleep because of that. Three, two, and one. Slowly bring your right foot onto the wall again, and we'll again lift up into the supported shoulder stand. So lift the hips up. And let's stay here for five, four, three, two, and one, lift your left leg up, cross the left ankle with the right knee and release your spine down. If that's uncomfortable to do that, you can come all the way down and then cross your legs as well, that's fine. Stay in that figure of four, feel the stretch on the left hip. If not, push the left knee a little more away from you to feel the stretch a little deeper. Three, two, and one. Gently release the leg. Bring both your feet onto the wall again. And now we're gonna come into butterfly against the wall. I would like to take my hips a little closer. So I'm gonna just scooch my hips out a little closer. Lie down and bring the soles of your feet together and open the knees out wide. Use your hands to push the knees away from you and towards the wall. Really opening up into the inner thighs, the groin, the hips but keep the lower back down, okay? Don't arch your back. Stay for five. Big breaths, focus on longer exhalations. You can release the hands and just bring one hand over your belly and one hand over your heart space. And just watch your breath as you inhale and exhale. Making sure your exhales are longer. When your exhales are longer, it helps you relax more. And it's great to lull you into that sleep state. Another two. And one. Beautiful. Now bring your knees together. Now I like to take my legs into Halasana in order to get good sleep. It's a great posture to stretch out the spine, but if you're not comfortable with Halasana, you can go ahead with Viprita Karni, which is legs up the wall, which we will do after this, okay? So if you are okay with Halasana, you can lift the legs up. You can even use the wall to first come up into a shoulder stand, support your back. And then you can take your legs all the way back behind you. you. If you can't rest it all the way down on the floor, you can use a prop. You can use a couch or a chair or something. And stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly bring your legs back onto the wall. And now we'll prepare for our final relaxation, which is Viparita Karni. Legs up the wall. So scoot your hips as close to the wall as possible. I would say allow the sit bones to touch the wall. And then lift the legs up. What I like to do for this practice is actually I use a bolster under my hips, but since today I have only a bed blanket, I'm gonna slide the blanket, fold it up and slide it under my hips. So my hips are elevated. And 
I'm going to stay here with one hand over my belly and one hand over my chest. I invite you to stay here for at least 15 to 20 minutes if you have the time. You can stay here for even like five minutes if you don't have so much time. Uh, it's it, You can also stay here and you know get into this mode for sleep so you can have an eye pillow you can have a blanket to cover you that's a great practice because that helps secrete melatonin okay melatonin is your secret uh, your sleep hormone and the interesting thing about melatonin is that it's secreted only in darkness so which is why we should turn out bright lights and you know refrain from using our gadgets before bedtime so that sort of promotes that uh, promotes the secretion of melatonin. If you have too many bright lights, it sort of interferes with the secretion of melatonin. Okay. Apart from that, this posture, just staying in this for a long period of time, is a great way to relax, unwind, reduce swelling from the legs. And while you're here, I invite you to bring to your mind three things that you're thankful for, grateful for today. So dwell in that, in the space of gratitude and stay here for as long as you like. Thank you so much for trusting me with your practice. This practice always gives me a good night's rest. So I hope it does the same for you as well. Thank you.